Good afternoon, Ralph E. Hartman on the corner, corner of uh, B Ridge South of Lake Point again. Just got here, uh, I don't know, about 15 minutes ago, got off the bus. Then uh, uh, I was uh, starting to ride and I heard some loud talk across the street, the corner of uh, Timberwood, and uh, noticed a big patriotic truck, look, patriotic looking truck there. Uh, in Biro, I think it's in Birotech, uh, apparently a big bumping truck. So anyway, uh, some of the words I heard sounded, uh, sounded maybe uh, like somebody was wanting, wanting to worry me. So I looked and all I saw was a few men standing there. And so I walked across and asked them about their job. And they say that they're pumping out uh, clog lines. And uh, I saw they were standing uh, uh, beside a big open, uh, big open hole in the ground, you know, an excess uh, hole, you know, like 20 feet, uh, maybe 20 feet deep. And uh, pumping out, uh, I guess, I don't know if it's sewage or drainage or whatever. But uh, hopefully they're getting along all right. Uh, they were okay when I walked away anyway. So anyway, uh, it reminds you that in order for all these, for these nice neighborhoods uh, to uh, keep the roads and walks drained, that there, that there is uh, uh, some elaborate uh, structure under the ground. Anyway, uh, uh, I, just before I got off the bus, there was a little bit of difficulty on the bus radio. Subjects in my life, uh, the broadcasting situation and subjects who put it put at me changed moment to moment. So I was on the uh, on the bus uh, and uh, a man portraying himself as get it, being official got on the radio and for whatever reason said, uh, I think his words were, uh, if you hadn't tried to get involved in these politics, you would have gone up in one of these nice areas. And uh, then a moment later, uh, another man uh, got on the radio. Uh, also portraying himself as being official in way, some way as though he was being queried by someone else though, uh, uh, saying uh, apparently that they're pivoting on yet another uh, formerly secret argument from childhood and uh, said where he said the word steed did. And then uh, I, don't, I don't know exactly what he might be about, but I knew I grew up being, being normal. Uh, others that I grew up with, I mostly haven't known since uh, junior high school. So anyway, uh, I guess what you might be implying pertains to the name of uh, Greg Stube. I don't know if that's the uh, pronou proper pronouncement or whatever. But then that was another subject about a half an hour before in the Walmart store, the Cattleman Road store. So anyway, I was in the store. I had just walked in minutes before, and then suddenly there's one or more persons broadcasted into the front area sounding amused about alleging that there have been mass graves found in the Cape Coral Isle, uh, Cape Coral area that actually preceded the hurricane and that that there are some corrupt officials going around taking people out of their homes and burning. You know, there's somebody, they say that outrageous. Anyone else in the store at that time heard also that one or two or three people that weren't in the store but had to can have their voices broadcasted in were saying, as I, as I just uh, detailed, and then uh, a young man, uh, separate of them or, or with them, but uh, but sounding separate, uh, said, uh, we, we didn't do anything in front of you because he would have called in or whatever. So anyway, they like to blend into what is otherwise a legitimate area in order to say threats of, of getting rid of people. But uh, whenever I talk to anybody at the Sheriff's Department, it sounds to me and I want to trust that they're being good instead. So let's hope that they're being good. Well, anyway, another a woman in the store shopping, hearing the same, was concernedly talking on her phone and said, uh, I guess she was speaking of Stu for some reason, uh, saying, well, they say that he started somewhere in the Bradenton area. And so I guess there's a, a, some kind of question about the man who's uh, running for uh, 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 one of the candidates for the uh, 17th District uh, U.S. Congress uh, uh, south of here. Uh, I guess is like I say, named Greg too. I don't know anything about him. I'm not. I'm not. Uh, I'm not accusing him about anything. I'm just saying what I have experienced and passed out. So that reminds me that I was to the post office about an hour before that, around Siesta Drive, when I received some uh, some mail, including a sample ballot. Well, the sample ballot is for uh, here in the 16th district. I'm a write-in candidate here for the 16th district, but my name, being a write-in candidate isn't on the ballot. It has to be written in. It's legitimate, listed in Tallahassee, but uh, won't be on the ballot. The person who would like to vote for me 
uh, has to know me ahead of time and know to write my name in as a selection for the 16th District Congress. All right. So anyway, uh, what happened though is that the ballot instead has the name of Greg Stewart on it, 17th uh, District uh, uh, candidates instead. Though it does list the the, the precinct, the place where where we do vote here in the 16th, in this part of the 16th District, uh, off of Geneva Road, uh, St. I St. Andrews uh, United Christian Church, First United uh, Church of Christ. So anyway, another hour and a half in the life of uh, this uh, Lager candidate. It really doesn't seem so because overtly I'm mostly seen on the roadside, oftentimes using my computer uh, that I'm making these days, with, using to make a lot of video messages. Uh, but usually I'm, I'm typing documentation, testimony that I send to the Department of Justice and others. Well, part of the reason for the campaign is so much of the subject matter is on behalf of others besides myself, on behalf of our nation, on behalf of the, our population. And I don't really get official response, although there, there is a lot of indication of good work. So anyway, uh, that's, uh, that's, I just wanted to say that update. And I'll tell you, you know, I, I really do uh, uh, support uh, good police. Um, you know, I've personally never been a police officer. And uh, although I do believe I would deserve some kind of an auxiliary uh, uh, position about all the paperwork, and good witnessing that I never aspired to be a, a police officer. In other words, the idea of having arrest capability, carrying a, a sidearm is, isn't something I was really looking to. You know? So, uh, but uh, there are sometimes indications of corruption and, a, and an indication occurred uh, about two, maybe two weeks ago when I was here on Beniva and uh, uh, I saw a, uh, uh, I was on a bus and uh, a procession of cars going past heading south. There was a road job just north of uh, Clark Road on the uh, southbound lane, and traffic was kind of backed up. But I saw a, a police car that I'd never seen before, and what the problem was is it has a very large skull kind of uh, caricature on it. A large uh, skull, uh, not doesn't look official. It looks like it's painted on. Not a cartoonish, but a caricature rather than anything official. But it's officially on a on an SUV of a police department or a sheriff's department. Someone has alleged since that it's a car of the uh, Manatee County Sheriff's Department. Well, you know, uh, I think it's really a bad idea, and uh, I think that there should be better supervisor. You know, certainly uh, that kind of imagery is intimidating. But it isn't the kind of intimidating where a person be afraid that they might be getting in trouble. It's a kind of intimidating that make people wonder if they're about to be killed. And I just really don't, I don't, I don't, I, I don't think that that's appropriate at all. And if anyone else was here, they would have heard that somebody of the monitoring just wanted to vo voice over and say the word kill. And again, as I'm speaking, they're very secretive and sneaky, but they allege being of some kind of official capacity. And again, what they've done is they've gone back in time to say they're what you said in your mirror accusation from way back in November of 82, accusing that I said that I killed someone, but no, I didn't. They don't accept truthful testimony. They made their decisions far in the past, very uh, secretly, and they don't accept honest testimony about it. They, they decided what they decided, but they were exactly wrong just like they were wrong about the 1981 stain medical malpractice in Orlando. Because they know how they themselves are, and they adjusted whatever they could adjust secretly, but eventually having having all kinds of far-reaching implications, pivoting on the accusation that I did something one time, but even though I didn't have any official job, even though I didn't have, even though I wasn't a candidate, and that I wasn't a member of any particular party, that some persons of a, of a family and their associates with all of their vast influence, including the former stepfather, et cetera, like I've been detailing against in these uh, reports, decides to interrupt me, saying that they did something bad, pivoting on this person, whom they don't even want to have pennies in my, I, they don't even want to have pennies in my pocket, you know? They don't want me to have any income or position about anything. 
So anyway, if you've gotten a sample ballot that includes uh, a candidate from a different district instead of the candidates, it doesn't list uh, Mr. Uh, Buchanan, doesn't list uh, uh, Mrs. Uh, Snyder either. So anyway, that's got to be fixed, right? But anyway, the more serious concern is the very uh, uh, negative and worrisome symbolism that I noticed on a particular uh, official car a couple of weeks ago. This really hopes that, uh, you know, all good law enforcement people are being good, that everyone is safe, you know. You know, uh, some uh, when I walked away from the, the uh, Envirotech, uh, they got a big uh, red, white, and blue uh, stars on it uh, uh, truck, corner of Timberwood. You know, I was just courteous and asked them if I thought that they were really doing anything bad, that I'd have called the police and stayed away instead. You know, I wouldn't want to be thrown down in any deep hole. So anyway, when I walked away, they just, they commented, you know, they're just standing there, one of the men smiled, you know, uh, so I just walked away. A few minutes later, when I got back out to the roadside, I looked back, I only see one of them standing there, but the truck is revving, so the other guy's probably operating the truck. So anyway, others want to cause me to worry about that. It's like this every day. This morning, I had to start with a 911 call about the Savannah Grand Center. You know, but I don't ever get cons consulted or uh, replied to about anything, so I've got to keep a file and hope to eventually have a position, a responsible position of my own, where I'll be able to have some uh, uh, staff help me to uh, uh, catch up on everything and, and try to hope, hope that everyone continues safely. Hope everyone's having a good day. And on election day, and uh, during early voting or absentee voting, if you don't want to be uh, standing in the in line to uh, write my name on the ballot, is uh, you can use an absentee ballot. And that works very good. And I promise you that I'll be a very good candidate. Uh, I'd be a very good representative. And uh, I just hope everyone is actually safe. And that uh, in the Cape Coral area, of course, I hope everyone's still safe there and, and that everyone's secure in their homes. And uh, thanks again for your consideration.